one. Drew, what do you have there? I have no idea, but you have this habit of bringing me things every time we get together <laughs> and wrapping them for some reason. I do. So consider this another early Christmas gift oh, from yours truly. Thank you. Thank you. So let, let's get started here. I'm nervous. <laughs> It's the only wrapping paper I could find, by the way. So I mean, we had snowmen, I had snowflakes, I had Santa Claus, and then I had bats, which is very much. Bats. Um, what's that? Bats? No, snowflakes. Oh, I think. Santas and I think said, Christmas trees, I think. They said bats. I don't think so. Well, this is recording, so we'll have to go back and find out. But yeah, no bats. Okay. If I said bats, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Batman? Perhaps? I wish. I'd be happy with just Bruce Wayne. <laughs> well, I really hope you, you don't I have see, this, too. No, I see the corner of it, and I'm already digging this. Uh, this is fucking cool. A History of Video Games from the National Video Game Arcade. Where did you find this? Woodstock, New York, at oh, some man. obscure bookshop. This is awesome. And I saw it, and I was like, I have to get this for Drew, because this, this is, is ultimately who you are. This is the kind of shit I love. Without a doubt. Dates, timelines. There's a is this a chapter on Barbie Careers game developer? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, this is really cool. I just skimmed through it and it had your name all over it, man. Oh, this totally does. This is this is incredible. Thank you. You're very welcome. I love this kind of stuff. And it looks like they have some really obscure shit in here too. Yeah. Like they have, uh, here's here's the uh, Nintendo DS Guitar Hero game, which came with a, uh, you plug it into the GBA slot, and it has an actual Guitar Hero controller built into oh it. Oh my I, gosh, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, so so the idea is you strum with a stylus, which they give you a guitar pick you can use. Yep. And then you're playing with the DS in your hand like this. Okay. And and strumming on the touch screen. Well, I, I guess that would be the way to do it. Cause wow. You can't, you're holding it vertical so that you have the full length coming down. I've never played this, but I've seen a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, it looks like it comes with a pick, too. Yeah, yeah. So Weird. in lieu of a stylus, you're using a guitar pick, um, which is, you know, the same idea, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's pretty cool. It's one of those things I never, never acquired. Yeah, it was a really cool bookshop. It was just one owner. He had one worker, I mm. believe, a couple customers. You know, that kind of store that's low ceilings, super yeah. tight. There's something so romantic about that kind of a bookstore, too. Yeah. Like, that's where wanted, you find the gems. Yeah. I always wanted to be like a small business owner. You know, something like that. Either a bookstore or a music store or something. Shit, anything. Comics, whatever. Yeah. Collectibles. This is really neat, man. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, man. I know that you're going to enjoy that one. Yeah. But yeah, I was nervous that you were going to have it already. No, um, although I have been um, considering picking up some more video game books. Jeremy Parrish has a line of uh, Nintendo and Game Boy retrospectives that he's done, which he, he does videos for as well, too. So he's kind of writing them for his book and then filming a video to go with it. Mm -hmm. So I've already heard or watched all of them. I just haven't read them, but they're nice collections. He has some nice photography. There's your Barbie game developer. <laughs> She looks like a call center employee. Yeah, yeah, she's not a game dev. She's a call center employee. It says game, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. They didn't do a great job with missed that. Missed the mark, Mattel. You missed <laughs> the mark. Yeah, I think there's a feature piece on uh, Goldeneye in there as well. Mm. Oh, cool. Check this out. Apple uh, Pippin. Oh, yes. I vaguely remember this. Yeah. Did this ever come to fruition? Um, I believe so. Or is it just kind of in so Let's some... consult the book. Let's consult the book. Uh, it was available between 1996 and 1997. Hmm. Uh, Sounds about right. I'm trying to see if there's any like games that were announced. No matter how good software like Mr. Potato Head Saves Veggie Valley was, it was always <laughs> going to struggle against Wipeout and Ridge Racer. <laughs> Why don't you read us what the front cover says? There's there's something at the bottom there that I found quite uh, quite warming. A history of video games in 14 consoles, five computers, two arcade cabinets, and an ocarina of time. Love it. Any final thoughts, Drew? Know your game history, folks. This is the book to own? Um, I don't know yet. It's one I, of them, it, it is It is one of the books to own. Whether it is the book to own, I, that is yet to be decided. But it looks legit. Well, enjoy it. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.